Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time for an unboxing. So here we have a package from Spiders World EU. This is the first time I've purchased from them and I had it shipped via courier. Now it they ship on a Friday and it gets delivered late Sunday throughout Sunday night or Monday morning. In my case it was Monday morning, so it arrived at 7.30 on Monday. So yeah, let's get into it. So I know Spiders World EU are really good for their packaging, so as you can see. There was no way for this box to move around. Now I've got some very exciting tarantulas inside here, so let's take a look. More of the dreaded blue tape. So we have a Kilobrachis electric blue, Kilobrachis species electric blue, a Brachypelma hammeri female, a Brachypelma hammeri male. A Pamphobetus, Pamphobetus species lightning blue, which I believe is some sort of um, version of the, the Pamphobetus antonitis, which is also known as the Stevie blue. And then in here we have got a Uh, this is a Flamictopus species Dominican purple. And a Nandu tripepi. So yeah, some awesome tarantulas there. But let's get them unboxed. So I think we'll start with the Kilobrachis species electric blue. So Kilobrachis species electric blue is a Asian fossorial tarantula so it needs moist substrate, a lot to borrow and not much else really but I have provided a cork bark because I do believe they will borrow faster with something to hide under. See this is what we're after right here. You can see, you can see the moisture spots there. You don't really want the top. You don't really want the top moist. You want this bit moist. So what you can do is take something like uh, I'll just use this for now. But we'll just take these and make some like furrows down the side. So that when you put the water in, obviously it's gone down the furrows. Now because this is an Asian tarantula it is very the potential to be very bolty so I'm going to be using an external tub to try and contain the tarantula on the event of a bolt. Now the now I'm not going to put the water I'm going to leave the water dish out for now because what the tarantula is going to do is pull a lot of the dirt up from underneath and then bury the enclosure. So, let's have a look. Yeah, not very big at all. Not the biggest, but a decent size. So... Oh. 
Okay, so the plan here is to put the lid on and then poke the spider out. Because I don't fancy chasing slings around this room today. So let's do it that way. So let's go for a poke and see what happens. Easy as that. Let's just wait for him to calm down because he's going nuts. <laughs> if you can see that. <laughs> There's a little bolter that is. So next on the list is the Pamphibetus species Lightning Blue. Slightly larger this one is, so let's go ahead and get an enclosure. Now this is another tropical species, but this time it is a new world terrestrial, but I'm still going to give it plenty of space to allow for burrowing. So, let's go for a Pamphibetus rehouse. It's a bit larger, so I think we're going to go with the same method of putting it in the lid. I know Pamphibetus can be a, a bit touchy. The lid. Note to self, next time I do this, make sure you open the tissue fully first. Now I'm in this kind of position, situation. Slight bolts, nothing crazy. Yeah, not that bad. So we'll let that one get settled in. Again, another decent size. Looks, re looks relatively freshly malted to be honest. Just like to check the size of the Brecky Palmer hammer on. Oh yes. <laughs> That's a good size. And the female. See where she is. Slightly smaller. Female is going to be going in here. Another basic setup. But this one is going to get a water dish because I don't expect it to burrow. But I'll put a water dish in afterwards. The lead.
Oh, this doesn't look very good. No, she's fine. Boop. That's a gorgeous little tarantula. Very nice. It's important to give these new world terrestrials, well it's important to give every tarantula a water dish so they've got the option to drink. And if you're struggling for size then obviously you can't go wrong with a bottle top. So the male is going to be going inside here. Probably should have done it the other way around to be honest because this looks slightly larger than the female. Pretty cool looking. See if you'll respond better to the paintbrush. Get out of there. Stubborn brackies. Again, a very nice tarantula. So these are a breeding pair and hopefully one day I will be able to produce offspring from them both. As it's always fantastic to get more bracket palmers into the hobby from a captive bred side of things rather than a wild caught specimen. You know, it would just be such a shame to see these guys go uh, extinct in the wild. So Even though buying one is kind of the problem in the hobby, uh, the least us hobbyists can do is try and reproduce them and breed, so I think we've all got to play our part. So next, Nandu Tripepi. So to make holes in this lid, you know these flexible tie wraps that you get? If you take the rubbish sheath off one end, you get this very thin metal strip. So I get a lighter, heat it up, and then just poke it through this plastic, and there you go. Sling proof holes. So this is all I have ready for a, a spidling setup. So we're going to make a starter burrow, a couple of different places. So as you can see, I've got a starter burrow down there. Let me just zoom this in so you can see. And it's for a Nandu tripepi. Just getting the little bugger out. Ooh. There's a Nandu. Very tiny. Just try and get this in. You've got to be careful out with these parts is you don't want to get the spider trapped between the lid and the thing so always make sure the spider is clear of it. So last but not least is the for mixed per species Dominican purple. I 
Oh no. Unfortunately it seems to uh, not survive the journey. I mean, it's not a death kill yet, so the least I can do is... Just try and hydrate the spider. Now even though that video ended on a low note, all the other tarantulas are doing completely fine and have since eaten from last week when I unboxed them. Now, the guys at Spider World are fantastic, their customer service has been absolutely amazing and they offered me a refund for the dead Thermictopus. So, all in all, it wasn't a terrible experience. Unfortunately, these kind of things do happen when you're ordering tarantulas online. At the end of the day, the tarantula Anything can go wrong when it's in that small container, you know, it, it just could have been a natural cause or it could have been something to do with a drop in temperature or too high of a temperature or just dehydrated, we just don't know. If you did enjoy this unboxing video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave any comments down below. My next video is going to be a husbandry video on a piece of Lotharia regalis because one of my viewers would like me to cover this, so... Stay tuned for that, and as always, I'll see you again next week. Thank you, goodbye.